Uh, I want that too. My dear friends, it's unprepared stream time again. Ah, where am I? I have no clue. <laughs> Oh, but what I know is that I need to set up my, my equipment here differently to access the mouse better. I wanted to set up my equipment, but my... Ah! Set up! Set up! Set up! I, I tell you! Fuss... No, fuss... No, fuss... No, 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 no! no. Not set up Fussel so that he can sleep better. <laughs> Hate you, cat. Sit down. I, I can't play this way. <sighs> So, I walk. There you are. Is Twitch chat broken for you, by the way, as well? Because, I mean, I see absolutely no messages in my dashboard. Actually, my bot is currently the only way of knowing whether someone chats with me. Twitch is completely kaputt for me. <laughs> Okay, for you it has delay. Well, delay is normal. For me it's not there at all. <laughs> Actually, I have fixed something with my, my virtual audio cable, so it might even be possible that the audio of this cord is uh, now can now be uh, 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 in stream, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look, it's one of them fancy robots. General Atomic's finest. Thank you very much. In stream, I say, yeah, uh, I just need to activate and do the shit, you know. It's stream, I see. What, what does that mean? Eh? Ah, I mean... You're, you're in the audio channel. Like this? Oh no. <laughs> My whistle. Stop sleeping like this now. To access. What? Wait. Audio? What? Hello. <laughs> Wait a sec, wait a sec. Stop it. <laughs> I will, it, it will work someday. <laughs> Fussel, will you stop sleeping on the mouse? Man. So, ah, now my microphone is working. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you as well, but wait a sec. I, I need to change things so that I'm able to to do the shit in stream. So now I might not hear you. 
but you are talking I guess a bit and now I can reroute this output directly to my headset hmm now I hear you and now I have it on a separate uh, stream and now I need to capture this as well in OBS and then we are done. It's what you always wanted, just not. <laughs> just that it's different. <laughs> Well, he's only right now. Time to die! Oh, will you get around my neck? So, try to talk. Are you talking? Hmm. Perfect. Uh, yeah, now the stream should hear you. I hear you and I hear sound and so let's hear everything. That. Well, yeah, if you hear the stream as well, you hear obviously yourself, but... Yes, 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 yes. This is my test coming through the stream. <laughs> well, then you obviously uh, uh, more or less know of the delay as well. <laughs> This is your stream delay. Now I know how shitty it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, one thing I will say, though, that I was testing was that my volume of voice in comparison to yours is maybe 10 to 15% louder on this end. Yeah, it is because I obviously, yeah. Your input, wait a sec, I will... I don't know, I will make you 8 decibel wider, maybe now it is better. I'll test it again. This time I'll walk into the room to test it. But, uh, as far as I see, it's better, but not the best. Maybe maybe 12 decibel will do it. I mean, I see the volume levels here, so yeah, you are, you are like maxed out. It's actually too quiet. <laughs> or not, no. Yeah, it depends on, on how strong you're speaking. I, I think the 8 decibel was okay. Okay, I'm gonna listen to it because I have to know. Because I have the power to know. So. Perfect. I, 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 there's not a percent wrong here. <laughs> I, no, I was. It's perfect. It's like I'm the co-host in the radio we won. studio. Yeah, we couldn't have done it where you can shout me down, Minutemen but I can still interject. We won't forget. It. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, you are dugging the the uh, game audio, so you will always be prioritized over the game audio, but I'm prioritized over everything. <laughs> so when I talk, everything is quite down. That's basically the setup here. I'm the host! <laughs> and I'm German! In, in history, that if they would have just, just had that feature... <laughs> like, like Hitler starts talking, the whole people shut down. <laughs> Yeah, nobody can I, I, I think he had that because always when he was talking, no one else was talking. Maybe it, he did it not with the audio dunking, but with with shooting everyone else. He did it. But with actual <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we are talking for like three minutes, and we are at Hitler again. Well, they say when in conversation everything goes back to either religion or politics, right? Yeah, and what is there more of pure politics than Hitler? <laughs> or pure I mean, religion in some ways. Everything is religion, as long as you believe in something and Hitler believed in something. <laughs> well, yeah, if you have faith in something that's not, if you can't, that you can't 100% prove. Religion. I can't explain it. <laughs> 
Jews, the Jews are it, but I can't prove it. It's religion. I, mean, I don't know why. It just is. It, it, they are. They, 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 they are to blame. For for what? I I can't explain. I don't even know. No no. I know what they are to blame, but I can't explain because it's religion. I can't make you understand. If I would explain, it wouldn't be religion. Bear with it. Nein. We wiped out that super mutant rating. Trying out They won't be attacking any more settlements. Classic. One step uh, antique One table here that's oval shaped, just want to live but the peace. sides are raised. In the center of the oval, the sides are raised, but they're raised maybe, I don't know, two centimeters, but at the long part, it's raised maybe three times that amount. So with the iPad <laughs> in the middle, I get this awesome booming sound coming off of that ridge. I, 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 I'm, 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 I feel ashamed, but I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> You should feel ashamed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you are talking things. It doesn't make sense. I'll just talk things. But but something is wrong with your setup. I have, I, I, I kind of understood out of the context. <laughs> not, not no, not necessarily wrong. Just interesting. I'm just I'm, I'm experimenting with the sound. Interesting enough to tell me about it, so I no, don't understand you. Okay. <laughs> exactly, I make it worse. Most people explain things yes, to make it better. Help. I explain things on? to make There's it a group even more. Of razors that won't leave us alone, stealing our food and supplies. Thusly, it's not an explanation. Threatening at all. us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're and coming. I wish we you made the scarred up face. To cover. If the, yeah, I, the, every headwear I, I get is fucking. Uh, but it protects well. Well, it protects. If I, I guess, if I have to critique something about the game, any it idea seems how like many they give you this face, and you get no all excited about your face, and then they like cover it up with them. There were three. But who knows? <laughs> Don't give me a face. Back at their base. There should just be a skeleton under there. That'd be more amazing. Your face fell off. I, I, I'm sure you could actually do something like this. <laughs> <laughs> You wake oh. up in the mask and you're like, I can't get this thing off. Can somebody help me? And nobody's, everybody's too busy to unbuckle the mask. But at the end of the game, somebody finally helps you. And underneath is just a bloody skull. <laughs> no! How did I not feel this pain? Maybe you. I might. I had it ahead. So, no. uh, <laughs> am I wrong, or was the Shining Force completed? There is still a scenario three. <laughs> <laughs> no! But I already uh, told to anyone watching, um, which is like, I don't know, none, maybe three. Even LOL was here today. Um, that I might, um, yeah put in some some other games until weekend or so until I kind of start the third scenario since I mean it really my my energy to play another strategy RPG right the next second gets lower and lower <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like like I said I mean I don't even hate the game I mean Shining Force is a cool game and whatever but I, I I will absolutely advise against playing all of them one after another. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Energy depleted. I need blood and bullets. Actually, no. I I don't even. I mean, blood and bullets is never wrong, but more like like change. <laughs> But they are shooting lasers in people's faces. Certainly, is interesting. Oh. 
Will you stop shooting at me? Seems we're gonna have the rise of the triad, or triad as you would say. And then, uh, I'm certain to probably vote for Castlevania, or perhaps Kirby, but probably Castlevania. So it should be pretty exciting. Pretty exciting indeed. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh. How oh, they always have grenades. Infinite. Fuck you. That's one deep pocket. It, it's it's even uh, uh, <laughs> there are some people where you even see them just waving around their arms and grenades come out of them. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> It's almost comical. I know they're not all the same, but it seems so often to me these, all these games, every time I pull out a gun in a game, or see somebody pull out a gun, it just turns into Call of Duty. And that's all I see. My brother was playing some game that was not even... <laughs> not Call of Duty, but it looks yeah. like Call of Duty. <laughs> like, why does everybody see that? Like, because every game looks like Call of Duty now. Everything's Call of Duty. Everywhere I turn... Get your gun! Get your ammo cans! Let's go to Yeah, that's... That's because games are not creative anymore. I mean, it's not... It's not bad. I mean, I like... I like Call of Duty, but... Good God. If you do, I mean, I, I I think after Black Ops, I have never even played one again. I mean, I would I would play it. I guess I would even have fun, but it's like this, yeah, generic shooter thing, you know. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing over and over again. I mean, which is. But I mean, you 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 shoot some people and then that's cool and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm not like. I mean, some people play Call of Duty every day because it's the best in their opinion. And I'm like, uh, it would be the same as with with uh, uh, Shining Force, I guess. I mean, after three games, I would be a bit sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I played Call of Duty on. The Wii, which I feel like I'm one of what? <laughs> so I'm, I'm one of those people who like the controls. So I'm the weirdo. But uh, either it's way, not even possible to play any shooter on the Wii. <laughs> oh no, it's awesome. But either way, <laughs> uh, my friends and I would we'd get on there and play that. I never played the campaign mode. I only played multiplayer online. So much fun, but yeah. Oh no, I get more and more knowledge of you, which scares me. You're a multiplayer guy. <laughs> ah. No, not necessarily. It's probably the only multiplayer I've done. <laughs> not necessarily. I just do it. I don't even You're like it. <laughs> I'm not an addict. No, you... At one time. But you said you only play... I mean, okay, you only play multiplayer even counts when you only play it once, but... Um. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that... I only played it for that game. I played it multiple times for that only that same game. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, my friend had Call of Duty on the Wii, and I played it, and I kind of was like, this is kind of fun. And he had been playing it online, so that was the only context I had. So when I bought it, I first jumped online with him. Um, and then we played a whole crash on online over one summer, and then... <laughs> then it was, <laughs> then it was over. <laughs> then that Game's was not interesting anymore. I mean, at least as, as a summer full of fun is kind of okay, I guess. I mean, not even bad. Well, the reason it was fun is because he and I, like, man, maybe it's because no serious gamers play Call of Duty on the Wii. And so we went on there and kicked everybody's ass all the time. And it's probably because we are the only adults in a, child, in a room full of children and we're killing them all. Who knows? I, I would even say no uh, serious gamer would play Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so, uh, it was really fun because we would go in there. We had our like little team, and it was really annoying because we did not like multiplayer kind of stuff like that. <laughs> so we were just. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool if two friends play a multiplayer game. They both don't like multiplayer games, yeah. and they're like, ah, such crappy game. <laughs> no, we're just like sitting. Every time, look, they always do the same thing. 
nobody even has a brain and we would just outthink people it just felt like we were either gods or like again we always hypothesized that potentially we were the only two retards pardon my wording but the only two retards playing that game as adults and everybody else was children we're like no wonder they're doing the same thing because we're playing against tenderness <laughs> We well, actually, the, I would even say, I mean, that's not far off. I mean, there are older people playing it, but I mean, first of all, they kind of, most of them look for their, for specific games more. They wouldn't just go into random games because if you're at a certain level of Call of Duty, I don't know how the matchmaking currently is, but I guess you can still kind of uh, make your own clan matches. And I guess they wouldn't be interested in playing with random God. people because random people are just stupid. Yeah, so it's just my buddy and I would plan up and then people would join in our game and it would just be domination until somebody came out of the hack where they floated in the sky and threw like pure hell at us. But we thought that was cool and so we would just play with that person for hours even though we'd never get one kill. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the Matrix! <laughs> Because like the voice would come in and be like, "You are a bitch." And I'm like, "Okay, I get it." And then it would go crazy like that. And so then our goal then was just like, "I bet you if we get it, if we can kill this person just one time, they'll have a pissy fit and leave." And almost every time, if you can kill them once, they like get a tantrum like, "I wanted to be invincible." Like, <laughs> but yeah, that that was kind of fun. But all the sound effects are printed in my head. Placing Betty! <laughs> what? Release the hounds! It was all World War II as well. Oh, yeah. Um, my friend and I were the... playing with the Germans because they had the, the scary looking dogs. <laughs> when we released the dogs on people, they were the scary looking dogs. I always knew that in. I guess it was some Call of Duty game where you then got to Germany at one point or whatever. Maybe it was some other shooter. I, I can't tell them apart anymore. And they were always like, I mean, every time you hear German in these games, it's uh, either the voices are just, you, you just can tell that it was Americans, how they think Germans speak, because I mean, you always hear that. Or it's the other way, it's they are to it just, I mean, they are kind of talking great German, but it doesn't make any sense what they are telling you. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, it's like uh, when, when in one of these games uh, I played then... Yeah, but, uh, always when you, you you shot someone, some some German, it was like ah, schöne Augen. And I mean, if you translate that, I guess what the, what they wanted to say is uh, like like nice eyes or like like good sight or whatever. No, I mean, nice that you hit me, but what it actually means is beautiful eyes. <laughs> I'm like, what? What is this? Eyes. Yeah, beautiful eyes. <laughs> I adore you. I'm dying. Uh, Kiss me, I'm dying. <laughs> I love you. I want you to come in me. Uh, Can I fuck your daughter? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think you would just shoot him again and again <laughs> until he stops saying that. You just keep saying it. <laughs> As he shoots you. And you rub your cock. <laughs> I want your daughter's face. Or your, your daughter's ass on my face right here. Right here. Shoot me again. I dare you. It would be an awesome shooter. You shot me again! What no, 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 what Well, it's good to be back. I was out yesterday. Yeah, yeah. What what was yesterday? You were like not here, and I mean that's always a sign of 
Armageddon. Well, I had to leave town. And, uh, well, between you, me, and the lamppost, I had to strangle out Stephen Hawking. But I'm back now, so it's all good. Things are better. He was getting too close to some answers and just had to take him out. But, yeah, everything's good now. Oh. <laughs> All's well. All's well. Big leaks. Armor. Ooh. Uh, I could do with some strength to carry more. I, I wanted to do it for like, to avoid do like the door. five days, and I was always like, ah, more damage. Ah, fine, monster. Ah, ah, nein. And I, uh, I mean, it seems as though. You should be around uh, as well. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> I mean, everything looks that way. Ah, I have to uh, release the, uh, the the graphical shit up at some point. Of course, I mean, there's still the one in the pipeline who would try it more. I mean, who is a developer who is uh, probably. I mean, I always uh, say it in, in the non-gender manner because I don't know him because I don't care too much, but yeah. The, the she developer. <laughs> Who's, yeah, but she's uh, kind of, I, I just say she hers. she's kind of, uh, she says that she's done it before and yeah, she's a developer, so maybe would not be the worst thing if she tries it out on iOS whether it works or maybe she can give me some insights what what should be done there. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, yeah. Still don't know what to spend here. Take less radiation from eating or drinking would be nice in the real world, but... I mean, who doesn't like radiation? It makes you feel warm when it's cold. I can breathe underwater. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's a nice hmm. Eating human corpses restores health. Is on today. The five. Oh. And you are allowed to go into your stream and tell her we love her. Just randomly. <laughs> I mean, the one that's, that's second to. I mean, the one that's second is Outworld, is also on to you. Second to you is Outworld. Jen's. I mean, sorry, Jen, but you're pretty far down the line. <laughs> Jen, you're beautiful, but that's all you are. <laughs> yeah, you're you're down. You're a pretty face on the bottom of my follow list. I'll stop by sometimes. I do love you. I mean, no, I don't. But whatever. That's just me. Give me too much. Uh, you know. Am I that often in the water? I don't know. Probably not. Would be kind of a waste here. And the eating, ugh, I'm not like. Maybe the riflemen, I mean. I do more damage with rifles. Always sounds nice. More damage means less ammunition, of course. You know. <laughs> Every bullet explodes heads. Yeah, I, I, I think I go for the damage again and again ignore the strength even though I want it for days. It's actually a sign for a nice RPG when you really sit before the, the, uh, the skill perk list, whatever it is here and... And everything, or there are a lot of useful things actually, and not just a random list of shit which you don't even want to have. 
and you're actually like mm, I, now we go for this but uh, the other thing is mm, and I can't that's yeah pretty much an important thing RPGs well, well yeah. I, I know far too many RPGs which are just like like I said I mean you have maybe you don't even have a skill list and then it's even more awesome or you have a skill list where 80% of the skills are skills you just don't want to have of <laughs> course <laughs> Disable. Fix it. Fix it. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> ah, this, uh, there we go. Damn it. That was confusing. Oh, it's a door. I opened it. Yeah, obviously he's not a survivalist because he's dead. <laughs> you know, kind of destroys my immersion. Cause the survivalist didn't survive. That bullshit advertising there. <laughs> what the fuck was that? A bunch of lying. I suck at looking at his dick. He's looking at the stick. Is he streaming it? <laughs> Do I want to know? <laughs> IRRL. I could of course switch to uh, the third scenario of Shining Force right now. Is it a short one? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. No. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> then no. <laughs> you just answered your question. If something changes while you're playing Shining Force, it's because I killed Hitler. Oh, okay. I thought you apply with it. Hey, my friend is uh, playing Shining Force. I just have to go to World War II. Okay, I understand. That would be the German way. But <laughs> <laughs> he's playing Shining Force. Damn Japanese, creating this game. You should. We, you gotta make a game that's just called uh, <laughs> called in damn Asian. Japanese. <laughs> called Asian, and it's just the German perspective of like the Americans coming in endless dark waves through the sea at them. And they're like, <laughs> it's never end. It's just like an endless slaughter, but like it's <laughs> just terrifying. Like, they won't yeah, it's like a, a survival game, and the Americans are coming. It, 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 yeah, infinitely. <laughs> you last, you can't win. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't win, but <laughs> maybe you can kill a lot of Americans. Maybe this this game would be the first one where America has actually issues. Because you're wasting millions of Americans. I think that's the perfect premise. Well, all of the other countries in the world would actually buy it and be happy, but... 
Well, you'd be like, I, I want to be historically accurate. See, that's why I, you, the player can't win. <laughs> but you can get a high score by killing lots of Americans. I like this. But actually, that would be kind of historically accurate because, I mean, um, it's not like uh, you optimize your death count. <laughs> <laughs> you never did <laughs> uh, before the drones, of course. <laughs> now you're like even beating us at that. <laughs> but it's just because Germans don't go to war anymore. If we would, <laughs> we would show you drones. <laughs> <laughs> Our drones. <laughs> These are our drones. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you buy drones. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? It's drones. <laughs> the fucking drones. Schnell, schnell. What the hell was that? This is our drone, this is the German drone. It's not killing people, it's called uh, killing populations. How is it different from our drone? It spits when it talks, then it farts when it spits. Oh my god! Nein! <laughs> I just see them going to the bunker towards the end of World War II and they're like... Hitler, where are you going? He's like, did you see them invading? I'm going over there. They're crazy. Let's drive along. It's probably the, the best strategic thing you Americans did is give us so much shit after World War II that we just don't want to go to war anymore. It's just too lazy. Why? Why would we? What would we gain? I mean, pfft. yeah, sure, we could invent something and destroy countries again, or we could just sit here and play video games. Well, that's why the internet was designed to keep the <laughs> internet. Yeah, is totally for made for us Germans. Yes. <laughs> and that's why America has all the guns, because we took yours. Well, actually, I think most of our weapon exports go to America. That's true. I kind of heard. I mean, yeah, I, I guess most of the world's weapon exports go to America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That shit's amazing. Actually, we give you the weapons which work, and the others we keep for ourselves for some reason. I want a bullet that's a capsule, like a little pill that you swallow. So when you shoot somebody, it, it leaks open like in like a couple seconds, and this drip leaks like pure rubbing alcohol into their body. Oh. Did you shoot me? <gasps> Maybe some some. Uh, it's a mini salt bomb. You just shoot somebody and inside them and it just goes. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Not the same. Uh, I think of optimizing more your your uh, nice. soldiers uh, in in effectiveness. That you just give him a capsule or something which is connected to your heart rate and every time someone really dies he just blows up in a fragment, bomb, grenade, whatever. I mean, you should probably not send armies but uh, single people then in there because you would just fuck up your own armies. But for a guerrilla tactic that would be kind of nice because I mean some of them will die but if they die they just blew up in, I don't know. It'd be sweet. It would certainly optimize things, because I mean, yeah. Oh, 
Ja, just let the German think about it. <laughs> he will make it better. I need a gun with seven triggers. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you only have five fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what if I break a trigger? I, I have six other ones. I took care of those raiders. You have to pull all seven simultaneously. That's what keeps it safe. <laughs> but how would you do it? <laughs> really? The most complicated thing to hold. It's ergonomic. Well, that's the best news oh, I've that? heard in a long time. Oh, by the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to... I think a gun... Man. I think you should have to have your hand put inside of it, so when you shoot it... The only way things will get better is if we you know, stand together. No, it's just a smart gun. It locks onto your hand. You can't take it off unless you cut your arm off. So that way, everybody knows you did it. Well, that's a smart gun. <laughs> it doesn't go off anymore. <laughs> it doesn't go off anymore, and it just, like... Latches on your hand. You can have it up for home self-defense, but if you're able to shoot somebody, it's going to latch onto your hand. So when the police come, they know who shot who. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's guns. Everybody can have one, too. Go ahead. You only get one shot. Make it count. Because <laughs> it's going to stick to you, and you're not going to get away with nothing. At least it's not raining. And then your grill, <laughs> the way me. they take it off is Freedom's they turn another button. Worth fighting for. It makes it chop your arm off. <laughs> it just falls off. <laughs> Okay, not a jail. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. I like the people there have decided Shoot to join him. our cause. Shoot him in the throat. That's great news. One day, I don't I'm like strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else to look up. into. But they're worried the super mutants will come back and forth. You better get over there before it's too late. Hehehe. <laughs> He's fucking giving me one quest after the another without any reason. Is your robot still following you? Yeah, it's my my butler. Your butler? Yeah, here, he, 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 he. Cotswolf is my butler from back then, and he survived 200 years, and now he's following me. I hope you're here to help. Are we talking about the same thing? <laughs> well, yeah, he's a butler, but I like to call him a butler. Because he's ah. a robot. Ah, a butler. <laughs> That's right. What's the trouble here? That's a good marketing idea for the first robot butler. Only a few of them, butler. but they did a lot of damage before we managed to drive them off. No, we only need the product. We have the name. <laughs> But we I'm have the name, so let's make the product. Reinforcements this time. We barely held them off the first time. Well, you can we code it. I'll design anything it. anything you can do to help us defend ourselves. Uh, sadly, robots need hardware too, not just code. That's <laughs> my task too. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm like, I can solder. If, if if you're referring to soldering, then you are not right for the robot building. <laughs> I'm going to solder up some circuit boards. I like hand soldering on like microchips and shit. That's totally fun. I mean, you can uh, buy me some, some developer boards, Arduinos or whatever, and, and I make them sound angry. <laughs> Or something like that. Oh, so, so, the, the controls are so bad.
What are you laughing about? You're, you're not into it. <laughs> we'll need more soon. Into what? The game? I'm laughing. Is it's it's comical to me. I you don't understand the thing. The thing? The thing. <laughs> Am I not clear enough? Oh, you mean that thing with the thing? That thing you turn top-wise? Uh, yeah, probably, uh, if I would listen. <laughs> you would be right, if I would understand. Yeah, that's, that's kind of... doesn't need to be understood. It looks like you're finding like elbow pads in the woods. What? What is with them? You're just picking up all the signs. Go by. Let's see what that is. What the fuck? They all with chain guns here. They are cheating. Where'd those things even come from? I didn't even see them. Are they just... Are they tanks? Right. Uh, they are... They are super mutants. Oh, now there's this NPC again, which, which stands right in front of my face while I'm shooting shit. Oh, I guess I shot her in the back head. Oh, well. Uh, that's... That's what they get. <laughs> Failed. <laughs> I failed because I shot her in the head. <laughs> it was kind of sad. I mean, but how stupid is she? You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't feel bad if this was real life. I'd be like, uh, well. It j just thinks you see someone shooting with an Uzi at someone. Do you go right in front of him? Why do you say it? Because you do. Mm. Oh well. And now I have to go to Preston and tell him ah, I couldn't help defend them, I shot them in the back of their heads. <laughs> How did that happen? Ah, you know, they were kind of the line, in the line of fire. Okay. Stupid. You, that's why I told you you should just shoot him in the head. That, don't tell him anything. When he says, what happened? I hope you found your son. Stay yeah. sharp. Don't let your guard down. I'm sorry to report Ooh, that the super mutants came back and tore up that settlement pretty bad. I hate to hear that. This is exactly what the Minutemen are supposed to prevent. We'll have to do better next time. <laughs> we have now, to do better next always, time. <laughs> there's another fire to put out. I've fought the gunners before, and something tells me this is <sighs> just them probing their defenses. Yes, let me control them with your help. Like robots. <sighs> Lightning, stormy weather. Please, just wait. You're not with the gunners. Are you here to help us out? I'm not with the gunners, but I help gun you down. Yes. Can you tell me about your trouble with the gunners? It's the gunners. We caught a group of them sneaking around a few days ago and had a bit of a dust up. They ran off too easy once they saw we were going to fight back. Gunners never back down that quickly. If you can help us shore up our defenses, it sure would help us out a ton. Gods will flag that. Oh, it's built up fucking defenses again. <laughs> what is this shit? I mean... Fuck your defenses. Build your own defenses. Yeah, <laughs> because what what am I doing here? I'm, I'm running around, going for bathtubs and whatever, and uh, kind of scrape them. Protect me, uh, protect me. Let me stand in front of the muzzle of your gun. Uh. 
That's I see that coming. <laughs> That's where it's safe. Oh, a wire. A wire fence contains wood and steel, not wire. Hmm. Why is it called a wire fence? Doesn't have any. Let's see. Let's build some. I still can't. Let's prepare without doing that shit. on some needles into my arm. As long as the one I'm supposed to protect doesn't run in front of me, I might be fine. Like the last time option. Uh, right back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I guess. Minutemen really know how to bring the fight. We won't forget what you've done for us. Why do I always need to talk to Preston after that? I mean, as if he needs to know everything. That's a few gunners that won't be attacking our settlements anytime soon. When we all work together, the bad guys don't stand a chance. Well, you ready for some more work? The Minutemen never rest. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So, see what you can do to help. I hate him. Cool problem, okay.
Samoan went through a great deal of trouble to fortify this place. with the Minutemen, right? What seems to be the problem? A pack of feral ghouls has holed up nearby, and some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have them gone. Stop doing that.
what am I doing? Were you able to clear out those ghouls? Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. Oh, will you talk to me? You did? That's great news, fella. You and the Minutemen have our gratitude and our support. Das ist ja... Sorbe. Wenn ihr Cat 
just lays down all over you. I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about ghouls in their backyard. Got another thing to talk to you about. I'll mark the location on your map. Sweetie, all the time. I have another thing. I have another thing. I have another thing. And, mm, and here's the film. And yeah, and now I have. And I'm still not done. By the way, I will never be done. <laughs> You've got to help. My brother's been kidnapped. Uh, who? It's okay. You just need to tell me what happened. They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill him. But I don't have that kind of money. Don't worry. I'll get him back. We asked the Minutemen for help, but I didn't really think anyone would come. Just bring him back safe, okay?
или if you God, thank you. Let's go. Stop moving, I don't know how to thank you for that rescue you pulled off. Just remember that this is all thanks to the Minutemen. We know. That's why we've decided to join the Minutemen. You can count on our help if you need it. Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us. Here is Hello, sir. I rescued that kidnapped settler. We've got another settlement on our side now. Good. Another win for the Minutemen. Keep it up, and pretty soon we'll have the whole Commonwealth behind us. If you've got time, something else has come up. But they're worried the super mutants will come back and forth. You better get over there before it's too late. Super mutants are gonna. Oh, it's, it's 
them. I hope you're here to help. That's right. What's the trouble here? Super mutants came through a few days ago. Only a few of them, but they did a lot of damage before we managed to drive them off. It was only a miracle that nobody got killed. But I'm afraid they'll be back with reinforcements this time. We barely held them off the first time. We'd appreciate anything you can do to help us defend ourselves. Yeah, we could do that, on the other hand. It's just never shit around to actually build some turrets or whatever.
Hey there. I can't believe it. We won. We couldn't have done it without your help. The Minutemen came through for us. And we won't forget it. As long as you're bathing in a puddle of radiated shit. We wiped out that super mutant raiding party. They won't be attacking any more settlements. Good to hear. One step at a time. We'll make the Commonwealth safe for people who just want to live in peace. Now, as always, there's another fire to put out. Sounds like they're trying to stand up to some raiders. It's a good chance to show how much better things could be if we'd all stick together. you're here to help. That's right. What's the trouble here? Some raiders have been threatening us if we didn't give them supplies. We told them to take a flying leap now that we had the Minutemen backing us up. But they didn't seem to impress. They said they'd be back with their friends to make an example of us. We're not soldiers. We're hoping you can help us set up some defenses before it's too late. Until the game time will run slow. And, uh
Oh, sure. Can you please not have... We did it! I was afraid we were making a mistake trying to stand up to those bastards. But the Minutemen came through for us. Let's trade. Take care of your gun, it'll take care of you. I taught those raiders a lesson. They won't be attacking another settlement again. That's good. I hope I live to see the day when people aren't always worried about the next raider attack. You know what I'm gonna say next. Another trouble spot. I've fought the gunners before, and something tells me this was just them probing their defenses. They're gonna need your help. Really, these are the... That's one of the most boring quests ever. Please, just... Wait, you're not with the Gunners. Are you here to help us out? I'm here to help. What's the problem? It's the Gunners. Said we that. caught a group of them sneaking around a few days ago and had a bit of a dust-up. They ran off too easy once they saw we were going to fight back. Gunners never back down that quickly. If you can help us shore up our defenses, it sure would help us out a ton. Crap's coming in pretty good. Let's see, what do we have here? Ooh. Can you please not focus something? Circle tree on oil.
so yeah, this this whole building shit and it's really just especially since you need shit you don't get here if actually do something really really Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Need something? The gunners came back. Hit that settlement pretty hard, and they're in bad shape. Damn. I was really hoping we could prevent it this time. Well, you ready for some more work? The Minutemen never rest. Look, I'll mark it on your map. All the support we can get. So see what you can do to help. <sighs> no, I in area I'm kind of bored of you now. This is Settlement and that settlement is just. It's just not cool.
Oh man, you. How about opening? Fallout menus. Oh, you're jumping, you can't open the menu. Then fucking still. Tell me where you're coming from all the time. First one.
cause any trouble. Hi. We could really use your help. What do you need? Something nasty's right. living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Now, what's really too bad is that it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of them for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Wait there. My turn. Come on. Nothing would please me more. Another is already in the works. Your thoughts? A Mayan asks his friend if he would like to grab a drink. His friend says, Well, I'm supposed to finish the calendar, but I guess if I don't, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> clap, clap. Well. Are things all right between us? Never better. And might I reiterate, it's an honor to be chosen to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. That's all for now. All right, then. Why wouldn't it be?
Just report my success. At least when you have seen it once, you can jump down. Has some merits the system. I mean, only that loading kind of. They could make Hello? more usage of You're my back. run. <laughs> Any luck clearing out that trouble spot? I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. It's nice to have some good news around here for a change. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Right, you are in time. And I go back and... And I guess after that I can do some story because I mean I will not do his quest until I follow him because I mean infinite shit. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. The Minutemen are on a roll. I helped that settlement you sent me to, and cleared the way for a new settlement in the process. That's fantastic news. We're gonna take back the whole Commonwealth from the bad guys at this rate. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Something else has come up. Got a strange message from a robot. Said it was from some place called Grey Garden. I couldn't figure out exactly what it wanted, but well, may as well check it out. You never know. Okay. That sounds actually interesting. <laughs> Shorts. Oh wait, no, that could actually be cool. As long as it's not random. Read a settlement. Ah, and a, and a phantom, and a hat. Really, when I look at all of the other quests, I honestly ask why. Oh, there are these, these filler quests in here, these stupid filler quests. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. This place seems familiar. I think I saw a bit about it on the news, back before the war. Yes, construction was completed mere days before the war. We were able to survive and continue our operations only because our creator made us fully self-sufficient. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision-making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. That's the second time you've said that you remember something before the war. I think you're a little confused, darling. You simply can't have been alive back then. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Great. Just when I thought I was finally free of television. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. 
What do you think of the water around here? It's nothing special. Oh, it's ghastly. That's what it is. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. is a bit unsettling, wouldn't you say?
Got it.
Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! Why, Joe! Well begun is half done. Lovely weather, what? It's only good to see. Hello, darling. Someone's supposed to give me quests. What's the doll here? Or? Hmm. Okay. Pretty cool, but. On the other end, it's kind of okay ish, so. I don't. Get entangled in some complex quest or whatever when I actually want to continue. I found out what those robots in Grey Garden needed and took care of it. Even better. They want to be Minutemen. Huh. I guess I never thought of robots being Minutemen. But why not? If they're willing, I guess we can use them. Since you're here. But they're worried the super mutants will come back and forth. You better get over there before it's too late. Not even building proper statements. So yeah, I mean... Let's just do that. You got a Geiger counter bow? Mine is in the shop. Your HQ's new guy, right? Oh, th thanks for setting up this place. Kinda wish you would've set up a cot or something, but at least it's safe, right? It, it, it is safe, right? You shouldn't have any problems out here. Yeah. This place is, is definitely better than the last hole in the wall I was at. It was literally a, a hole in the wall. We got a package incoming. You know, package. I've, I've plotted out her escape route, got a new guy, new tourist that's gonna help. He, he, he's all ready to sign up, but he's got big problems. We clear those problems up, and our package has got a nice cozy shack to lay low in. What's the tourist's problem? Oh, hell if I know. You know how it goes. The dead drop says hostels have to go bye-bye, and we, you, take care of it. I'll mark it on your map. Go there, and do what you HQ types do. Then, Kate's all set. I'll make sure she gets out of the Commonwealth. I do every random quest which <laughs> sounds half cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> Best music. Got it. Nothing. Already taken care of. I hardly even broke a sweat. Whatever you did worked. The tourists have signed on. K-8's already on the move. 
Take this. I might have more jobs later. Thanks, bub. Oh, oh dear Lord. Oh, quite a lot. XP. Nice. shit here and then I have to go back <laughs> uh, quests please heads up Tom's got more goodies in stock check with him Uh, you got the platform built yet? Tick tock, tick tock. I'm waiting for the good news. I did it. The platform's constructed. And I filled in the blanks on the blueprints. We can actually build this crazy thing. The science of this monstrosity is wow. But fortunate for us, the ingredients pretty common. But there's three specialty items that I just can't grab from our safe houses. You find those, and we'll knock down the gates of hell. Thanks, Tom. I'll find them. I don't doubt it for one minute. After you get the gettables, meet me at the bill site. Excuse me. Hey, man. Need help with the signal interceptor? This thing is going to be huge. We'll finally learn about what the Institute's really up to, man. I could use your help finding parts for the beam emitter. We need some high-tech shit for that. Mm -hmm. Hit up any army. Hi. Hey, man. Need help with the signal interceptor? Not now. I wanna... We got a lot of synths in play right now. Okay, I got to the... Where are Storm Heroes? Makes things I got in here. Uh. Cat is ready. Oh, I do hope you're here to make a purchase. It's what I live for. Let's see what you got.
and just check all of them. Nobody's seen him in days. Yeah, what can I do? I have no clue where she is. <laughs> Stupid ass bitch, I mean. Oh, I could drop that weight. Diamond City Surplus! We're having a sale on brooms! Oh no, wait, my programming is telling me we never have sales. Maybe you should buy something else. Let's see what you have. The highest quality of it. Your whistle for your ass, my mouse pad. That is really bad. Uh, I was here a thousand times, but I actually I was here once, but I'm lonely. But since everything is filled up again.
Got it. So it's really just the weight and I mean I don't do melee attacks and other than that I mean yeah if I come to here but uh, until I'm there I, it's just not happening I rather take Maybe if I invest into this But I would need a lot of them. I guess, and I mean eating, yeah, it's kind of a hassle, but it's okay. So I guess, yeah, I build up my points too. Minrat resistance is not bad, this is not bad. Caliber, ghoulish would be amazing. So. Oh wait, I wanted to do 
is optional. Scraping. The old world of the world of the Here, how about hitting this shit? No, I am hitting wood. For some reason. So ass. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's it. What the hell was that? Disappearing act. <laughs> huh? I had a scourge, but just... Yes. Really, no one cares about these messages. Hearing shit. Oh. End of the line! Fucking wall. No clue.
say it again, I mean... It's just here, ah, oh, here. Can you please tell off this, uh, not tell off? Where is this fucking radio? There's no way, no fucking. Oh God, look. No switch, stupid. to go down. at the beginning of the level.
So, uh, stream will end. No one's here, anyways. <laughs> Maybe I'll return. Have a good one. Goodbye.